What's up guys, welcome back to Mr. Seeds Corner. It is Thursday, May 21st, Throwback Thursday. We're throwing it back to when Darius Rucker was not a solo country singer, to when he was in a band, and that band was called Hooting the Blowfish. If you haven't given them a try, listen to them. They are the perfect band to listen to during the summer, uh, especially during a uh, nice summer day. Anyway, so since it's Thursday, we're going to continue with our lesson that we had on Tuesday when we were talking about the consumer buying uh, process, how consumers uh, decide what to buy by answering four main questions. On Tuesday, we discussed the what and the when, what, so, what the consumer is buying and when they are buying it. Today, we're going to discuss the where and the how. Um, so before we get in there, the main idea of this video is the same one as Tuesday. Consumers must make buying decisions. They must decide what, when, where to buy goods and services and how they must pay for them. Um, your EQ for today's video is also the one from Tuesday. And you're going to have to answer this EQ at the end of this video. EQ though is how do the questions of what, when, where, and how influence a consumer choice to buy? How do those questions influence me or you to buy something? Um, I'll continue to reference my example that I had on Tuesday when I bought my Jeep, um, Jeep Compass, um, and I'm actually going to have you use your own personal example of the last time you bought something, or when you could buy something. Anyway, let's, let's go and uh, remember what I said about the what and the when. So what? What was I buying? I was buying a vehicle, right? I was buying a car or a truck. Uh, so, that's the, so that's me answering that question, but then I had a little bit layers underneath that. So car or truck. Uh, price was a factor, um, had to be low miles and four by four. Uh, so I also talked about on Tuesday brand loyalty, uh, and I am not loyal to any specific auto brand. So that's why I had no lo uh, brand loyalty. That's why I was really like a free agent and I could go and choose where I want to, uh, you know, spend my money on and purchase a vehicle. But I had to answer, you know, the, what was important to me when buying a car and when. So I didn't answer this on Tuesday, but when did I buy? I actually bought in the springtime. It was actually a Memorial Day sale, um, which which was uh, great because they were having running promotions. So, um, but today we'll discuss the where and the how. And I'm going to keep referencing my example. But first, here's a question for you. Question one, right? We're going to put it on Schoology. Uh, if you were going to buy a new pair of sneakers, uh, how would you answer the what and when questions? What are you buying? When are you buying them? Right, put that on school gym. So, deciding where to buy. So now we're going into the meat of this video. Uh, where to buy. There are three factors that affect a consumer's uh, decision uh, where to shop, okay? One, the kinds of goods and services sold. Like, what are you really looking for? How many places actually offer that good, and ser uh, good or service? Two, prices, right? Not gonna, I mean, you're gonna, hopefully you're gonna do some comparison, comparison shopping. Yes, we're gonna discuss that later. Um, and then three, convenience. Am I gonna drive out of state to buy this good or service or is there a better option closer? Um, so plenty of options are out there. I'm gonna go into the eight different kinds of buying options. Uh, so bear with me. Um, first one, department stores. Uh, they're like mall stores. Uh, they offer brand names and customer services. Their prices may be higher in other, uh, than other types of stores. Think J.C. Penny. Oh, wait. They just filed for bankruptcy. Think J. Crew. Uh, nope, not J. Crew. Sears? Mm -hmm. No. Just think those mall stores is what I'm trying to get to. Uh, so that's, that's what I mean by department stores. So that's one. Two, uh, discount stores. Uh, they can sell for less because they offer fewer services and keep large quantity of goods. Think Walmart. Walmart is a discount store. Um, they aren't full, full price, but they have a lot of stuff there and a lot of inventory. Three, third one, uh, off price or outlet stores. Uh, you know these. Uh, they can offer discounts because the items they sell may have flaws, may be out of season, or may be discontinued merchandise. Think TJ Maxx, right? So that's an outlet store or a off price store. Um, you can also think of like the Nike outlet store, Under Armour outlet store, whatever. There are a bunch of outlet stores. I think there's one up in the Poconos. Where I was growing up, there was one in Jackson, that was Jackson, New Jersey, that was really uh, uh, popular. Um, so just think of those outlet stores. I'm not sure about uh, just this area. Uh, so that's three. Four, limited line retailers or specialty stores. Uh, they have a variety of items and high levels of service and expertise. 
think like Foot Locker. Um, think uh, like PetSmart, right? Those people are uh, ex uh, experts to a certain degree in animals. Foot Locker, they're experts in shoes and athletic gear. And Ace Hardware, they are experts in, you know, the day-to-day -day fixing of up of homes. Um, so that's four. Five, Superstores. Uh, we, I actually mentioned this before. Um, Superstores, they sell groceries and a wide variety of items like books, hardware, and clothing. This is when you really think of Walmart. Walmart is the Superstore. Um, so I'm mentioning Walmart for Superstores and discount stores because there are some Walmarts that are just discount stores and some of that are Superstores that do offer groceries. So that's five. Six, yes, we got three more to go. Six, convenience stores uh, offer... Uh, limited amount of products, mostly grocery items. Think 7-Eleven, Wawa. What the heck is Wawa? Wawa and Sheets. Think think those stores. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Corner deli store, whatever. Those are convenience stores. Seven. Uh, warehouse stores. We're almost done. Uh, they carry a huge selection of goods at low prices and in bulk quantities. Think Costco. Think Sam's Club. Um, I bet these, I don't know, I, I'm not a member at any of these, you have to do some kind of membership for some of them, uh, like BJ's or, I think, yeah, yeah, um, you definitely have to be a member at uh, Sam's Club, but anyway, I, I haven't been to any of these um, warehouse stores uh, during this whole corona uh, situation that we have going on, I bet though that they are going like crazy, like selling a lot of stuff. Um, actually saw a thing, I uh, read an article about Costco. They are really doing really well um, during this, but they actually decreased their sales in the month, month of, uh, I think, April because people were loading up so much on March. Uh, anyway, the last one, yes, we're, we're almost done. We're almost done with the wear. Last one, and it's the biggest one, it's the most crucial uh, one, especially now during this situation because – the other seven stores I listed, you actually have to physically go to in order to shop at to get that good or service, right? Think online. So online stores, and I really only have one word to really describe it, Amazon. But now, Shopify, I don't know. But anyway, that's what I mean by online stores. So that's all eight. Yes, that's eight. We're, we're done with them, I swear. Uh, that was a lot, but that's the where. Uh, so where did I buy my Jeep? Um, I wanted to finance it, so I went to a dealership. So I went over all those different kind of outlets where you can or where you can buy it. Uh, but yeah, that's my answer. I bought it at a dealership because I wanted to finance it. Um, yeah, so it's like I gave you all that, and that was my answer. Last one, deciding how much to pay. We're almost done. I know we're, we're going over a little bit, but it's our last, last business lesson of uh, the school year. Um, deciding how much to pay. Keep them, um, keep, uh, the key term to know with this, and I mentioned it before in this video, is comparison shopping. Uh, so, uh, comparison shopping, it is your last textbook definition of, um, the school year. Uh, comparing, uh, so the, the definition is comparing the prices and the characteristics of competing brands or stores. So, you're going to compare Nike with Adidas, or you're going to compare Jordans with Vans, whatever. Um, so, uh, it is important for major purchases because the difference in costs can be significant, right? If I'm buying a Jeep Compass, a brand new Jeep Compass, the price compared to th that compared to a brand new Jeep Wrangler is significant. If you don't believe me, look it up. Jeep Wranglers are very expensive. Um, so that's, that's what I mean by comparison shopping. I'm just comparing two Jeeps. Um, but I, I went through that process when I was buying my Jeep Compass, um, so uh, for my Jeep, uh, this was actually the most important question. What, okay, I wasn't really too too worried about the what, like what am I gonna buy? I'm gonna buy a car, okay, or a vehicle of some sort. Where, I know I'm gonna go to, um, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go to a, uh, which one call it, a dealership because I wanted to finance it and they had the best options of financing. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, uh, when, I wasn't really when, it wasn't really a factor. I know I wanted to get it before the winter to use the four by four just in case. Uh, but this how was the biggest one for me. How, 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 uh, how am I going to pay for it? How much am I going to pay for it? Um, et cetera. So this was the first question I really asked. What was my price limit? 
Um, so think about that. Think about that when the next time you're buying something, regardless if it's a stick of gum or if you're going to go and buy a car or if you're going to go to college. Do some comparison shopping. See what's out there. See what's best for you. Um, so that's it. Question two, though, last question is similar to question one. If you were going to buy a new pair of sneakers, how would you answer the where and how questions? So question one is asking you to uh, answer the what and when. Now I'm asking you the where and how. That's today. Your EQ, your bell ringer is actually your EQ. Check it out in the uh, comment section. And that's it. Tomorrow, got a special, got a special one lined up for us. Um, yeah, so this was fun. Definitely teaching you guys. Not going to go too, too much in depth tomorrow, but uh, I had fun doing these, uh, doing, teaching you guys and lecturing uh, business lessons throughout uh, this whole situation. Uh, but tomorrow's our last one. Let's make it a good one. See you tomorrow.